at 11. First up tonight, police in Meriden are investigating after a child brought a gun to one local middle school. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Erin Connolly. And I'm Stephanie Simone. The child brought the gun into Washington Middle School earlier this week. And tonight, we are hearing from parents. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Brian Reed has been following this story all day long and has the very latest. Bryant. Yeah, there's still plenty of questions when it comes to the situation from families, not only in the school itself, but from families just within the school system as an entirety. Now, parents say that safety is a top concern here, but they just have to make sure that kids understand that too. I don't want my kids to be worried, or I don't want to be worried about that happening in the school. <laughs> That's a feeling plenty of parents have after hearing a student brought a gun inside Washington Middle School. Although it happened Tuesday, it wasn't reported or investigated until Thursday. Meredith Public Schools sent out this statement saying, quote, they immediately investigated this report, including an interview with the student who has admitted to the allegation. But the immediate investigation doesn't mean parents with students feel any easier. Where was the teacher when all this was happening? Where were the students that she was able to take that out and show it? Why are they not in the classes where they're supposed to be? The school system turned the investigation over to police, where we find out the student initially said the handgun was a BB gun. Here's what else police found out. They say, quote, the student had taken a handgun owned by parents from a locked case and brought it to the school and go on to say no ammunition was stored with the firearm. The student had discovered where the key was hidden and used it to access the firearm without the parent's knowledge or consent. Now parents like Ruth Martinez, who has an eight-year-old, say all they can think about are the what-if scenarios. I can imagine they're panicking, you know, worried because of all all the shootings in, this, in the news that um, have occurred in the past. Yeah, have occurred in the past. And Yehira Martinez says she can never be too cautious when it comes to kids. You can never be too careful, no matter how well locked up it is. It can always, kids can, kids are too smart for us to control. It's just kids, you know, we can't exactly blame them for everything. They're just kids, their minds are not exactly there, you know, fully grown. But um, something simple like that could have got somebody's life taken. Now, as scary as the situation is, uh, police say that the good news is that the gun was not loaded and it doesn't seem like the student had any intentions of using it. For the time being, that student has been referred to juvenile court. Now, come tomorrow, police say that parents can expect an increased police presence here at Washington Middle School, if for any other reason, just to alleviate any concerns from parents. And Meredith, I'm Brian Reed, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Certainly scary. Bryant, thank you very much. Governor Nell